Alright, in this video, this is Systems of Equations series video number 9, and we're going to be solving a system of equations here by graphing. Take a look at these two equations. They are already in slope-intercept form. y equals mx plus b. m is our slope, b is our y-intercept. Now, if you are unfamiliar with graphing, please check out my playlist, Graphing Lines. As a matter of fact, it will be video number two, where I cover graphing a line using slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. Understanding that concept will be very helpful because we're pretty much going to do the same thing, except we're going to graph two lines. Notice we have two lines here. So assuming that you are familiar with slope-intercept form, let's go ahead and graph this first one y equals mx plus b. This b, this positive 2, is our y-intercept. And this negative 2, this is our letter m. This is referred to as the slope. Now I'm putting a 1 beneath the negative 2 because when we think about slope, we want to think rise over run. Now, when I say rise, you can go up or down. And I tell you what, since the negative is in front of this 2, let's go down 2 and run to the right 1 because that's a positive 1. When the bottom number is positive, we're going to go to the right. So from this y-intercept, down 2, right 1. And let's continue this process on. Down 2, right 1, down 2, right 1. And continuing this pattern on, we can get a nice line with a bunch of dots to connect. As a matter of fact, we could write negative 2 over 1 as positive 2 over negative 1. That's the same thing. 2 divided by negative 1 is still negative 2. Well, why am I doing this? Just to reiterate the fact that we could go up 2 and left 1. Check this out. Up 2 and left one. And we can continue this pattern on just as we did earlier. Now we have a bunch of dots. You don't have to put all of these dots up here, but I'm going to for the sake of this tutorial. And if we connect all these dots, there is the line. That's our first equation. Now our goal here is to graph two lines in this case, and we are looking to see where these two lines cross, if they cross at all. So looking at this second equation, y equals mx plus b. Our b is a negative 5. Be careful with your signs there. So that negative 5 is our y-intercept. Our slope is a positive 1 third, which implies we can go up 1, since we have a positive 1, and to the right 3, since we have a positive 3 at the bottom. Well, check this out. Up 1, right 3. Bam! There's our solution right there, because this green line that we're going to graph right here in a second it will cross this blue line right there. But I'll tell you what I'm going to do. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to go up one and right three more, up one and right three more. And just to reiterate this fact as well, positive one over positive three is the same thing as negative one over negative three, which means we can go down one and left three. Check it out. Down one, left three, down one, left three, and you can continue this process on. Now you may wonder, okay, why am I doing this? Well, yes, I understand that we just did find the intersection right there, but sometimes the intersection may be here. Who knows where the intersection is going to be? So I want you to feel comfortable applying the slope, whether it be up and right, down and left, down and right, or up and left. It doesn't really matter. So just be careful with your signs there. So we have our two lines, and what we're really interested in here is the intersection, this ordered pair where these two lines cross. That is our solution. That ordered pair is going to be 3, negative 4. 3 is our x value, negative 4 is our y value. And now before I end things, let's just check this real quick. 3 is our x, so if we take negative 2 times 3, that's negative 6, plus 2, that gives us negative 4, so we're saying that y equals negative 4, and check it out. y does equal negative 4 when our x value is equal to 3. Perfect. Now let's make sure the same thing applies to the second equation. So again, our x value is 3. One-third of 3 is 1 
minus 5, that does give us a y value of negative 4. And really what it boils down to is this. We're plugging 3 into x in both of these equations, and we're getting the same y value of negative 4. As a matter of fact, 3 is the only number that we can plug into x in both of these equations and get the exact same y value for both of them. Hence our solution, this intersection, 3, negative 4. And there you have it, solving a system of equations by graphing. The two equations we had here were in slope-intercept form, but it could be common for you to see these equations given to you in standard form. You could still graph them, but we have looked at other techniques as well, such as the elimination method. The elimination method is perfect for solving a system when your equations are given to you in standard form. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.